Vince Gilligan, the mastermind behind the captivating and critically acclaimed series Breaking Bad and its equally successful prequel Better Call Saul, is now poised to depart the crime genre he redefined and return to his science fiction roots with his next highly anticipated project. To celebrate the 10th anniversary of the series finale of Breaking Bad, Vince Gilligan was interviewed by Variety, where he revealed the tantalizing details about what we can expect from his new sci-fi venture. In this video, I'd like to break down what all we know so far about this new project and the reasons many are so excited to see what Vince Gilligan has in store. Gilligan has certainly made a name for himself with his successful Breaking Bad universe with its many standout characters and compelling story arcs. However, in his new show, he is returning to the genre where he first honed his craft. His first big break in his career came when he joined the original X-Files series. Gilligan was a fan of the show and submitted a script to Fox, which ended up becoming the second season episode, Soft Light. He would go on to write 30 episodes for the sci-fi drama and direct two. Later, he went on to co-create the short-lived X-Files spin-off series, The Lone Gunman, which ran for one season of 13 episodes. Gilligan's new sci-fi series was first announced in an exclusive by Deadline back in August of 2022, with their sources reporting that while the new show was said to harken back to his X-Files roots, it would also be in line with the creator's signature character-driven approach, exploring themes of bending reality while holding a mirror to humanity. Deadline sources revealed that the show was being pitched as thought-provoking but not a morality tale. At the time, there were comparisons to The Twilight Zone, as it was said to be set in our world with a tweaking on it, focusing on people and exploring the human condition in an unexpected, surprising way. Gilligan then received a two-season order from Apple TV+, Plus, a streaming service that has recently become a hub for critically acclaimed science fiction television. Production on this new project had already begun when the recent Writers Guild of America strike occurred, halting the development process. Now, with the writer strike resolved, Gilligan commented on the current status of the show, saying, We're back to work. We're officially back in the writer's room on Monday. I'm spending most of my time in New Mexico because I live here now. But when I go back to Los Angeles, we're going to reopen the writer's room for the first couple of weeks in person. When the strike hit, we were very close to the end of breaking the first season. So we're going to go back and finish the second to last episode, then get to work on the last episode. We lost a lot of momentum, certainly. I can't even remember where we were exactly, so I'm going to be spending this week reading through previous episodes and old notes to figure out where we stand. We're looking forward to getting back to work. We would have been shooting already if it weren't for the strike. Now that production has resumed, filming is expected to begin, as Gilligan described it, in the teeth of winter, lamenting this unfortunate necessity due to the delay from the strike. The creative freedom inherent in the science fiction genre allows for a multitude of different types of stories where the only limits are one's imagination. When it comes to the type of science fiction Gilligan is looking to create in this new series, he clarified that he wouldn't classify his show as heavy science fiction, but rather he would describe it as mild with a sci-fi element at its core. Gilligan continued in the interview saying, There's no crime and no methamphetamine. It's going to be fun and different. I have no prediction as to how folks will react to it, whether they'll love it or hate it, or somewhere in the vast in-between, but I know it's a story that interests me." Describing the show as fun and different makes it sound as if this new series will still have Gilligan's signature tone of dramatic stories infused with humor. And while the show itself is a departure from the crime genre for Gilligan, fans of the Breaking Bad universe may be intrigued to learn that this new show will again be set in Albuquerque, an environment that became a character in and of itself in Breaking Bad. And that is not the only familiar element to this new series. Ray Seahorn, whose performance as Kim Wexler in Better Call Saul received numerous awards and garnered widespread praise by fans, will be headlining this new production. Despite these familiar elements from Gilligan's previous work, however, the showrunner commented on the differences for this new series, saying, Ray will be playing a very different character than she played on Saul. The weird thing is that it takes place in Albuquerque, except it's a whole different world. There's no overlap that I can see. She's playing a character who is not Kim Wexler, but hopefully people will roll with that. I'm nervous. It'll be interesting to see how folks react to it. 
I do find it interesting and refreshing actually how despite all of Gilligan's previous successes, he is still concerned, nervous even, about whether audiences will be pleased and hoping that they will like it, an outlook that unfortunately seems to be dissipating in Hollywood, especially among those who've achieved success who then begin to have a conflated ego and view their work as doing audiences a favor. It does sound that while he is including a familiar face and location, Gilligan is striving for something original and is looking to stretch his creative muscles by taking narrative risks that at the end of the day hopes to resonate with audiences. When it comes to the actual plot of the series, Gilligan offered a taste of what audiences can expect, saying, the world changes very abruptly in the first episode, and then it is quite different. It's the modern world, the world we live in, but it changes very abruptly, and the consequences that that reaps hopefully provide drama for many, many episodes after that. Gilligan's passion for this new project is certainly palpable and elicits excitement. While on the surface, his comments saying that audiences will either love or hate his new show may sound concerning, considering his history in the sci-fi genre and his track record for telling gripping and compelling stories that continue to resonate with viewers, I'm certainly optimistic for his newest venture. In an entertainment landscape that often feels saturated with remakes and reboots, the prospect of an original story is intriguing. Vince's decision to forego the safety net of an established intellectual property where a ready-made fanbase and the formidable pressure to do justice to beloved franchises are a given speaks volumes about his commitment to originality. While taking on such well-trodden narratives frequently incurs the ire of fans, especially in the wake of numerous adaptations that have failed to capture the magic of their sources, Gilligan is consciously embracing a different risk. He is placing the weight of expectation squarely upon his own shoulders, choosing the path of the trailblazer over that of the follower. It's a bold move that while inducing understandable nerves about public reception, showcases his desire to forge new ground. Gilligan's willingness to explore a fresh universe is a testament to his creative spirit. He's essentially back in the lab and hoping audiences will like what he's now cooking up. But I'm curious to know what you think about Vince Gilligan's new show starring Ray Seahorn. What are you hoping or expecting to see from what promises to be a character-driven, mild sci-fi series? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.